Yeah. That got a little underpowered here, but Doug McClung's been at this game a long time. There they go. Green light. Fat Cat's going to win it. Doug McClung picks up a well-deserved victory. Oh, he's got to be pumped up. I guarantee you he is sky high. What'd you do right tonight that you didn't do before besides win? I put me a whole brand new funny car together for the show down here. And it was working right tonight. Congratulations. Great run. I'll say that was a great run. Boy, that was one excited fat cat. Now back to freestyle. Airman Dan Evans and Destroyer. Another guy I'm really looking forward to seeing. This is one that I talked to a lot in the offseason, and he's really put a commitment out there to, to make his freestyle program among the best. He and his wife, Lori, who's his crew chief, have done a tremendous job on putting together this truck and making it run strong. Well, you know, with Great Digger and Team Mint still to come, 27 the score to beat. Dan Evans up on two wheels. And he's got to do something spectacular if he wants to win. Nice little move right there. Kind of slammed that in, stuck it up, got the truck up in the air and set it back down. You know, I always believe, and for the judging purposes, more impressive to get into trouble and save the truck than to actually roll it over. Nice and missed our crush cam just a little bit. <laughs> Evans looking strong right here. Well, now I, as soon as I say that, it looked like he lost a little momentum. Well, there's a reason for it. He's trying to take that bus with some sanity. He's going to take that bus. Walk that truck right over. Out of Scottville, Michigan, Chevrolet S10, 540 cubic inch engine, Dan Evans, Airman Dan. Going to go gonna try and hit sideways here. Now, this is something they deduct for if you back up. Nice wheelie, but again, part of the problem in comparison scoring is it's not as impressive as what Scott Stevens did in that same move. Good run, though, for Dan Evans. Fans love it. The fans are really loving it. That was a solid 90 seconds, Mike. I'm going to tell you, it was really strong. Whether it's enough to get the lead, I don't know. Wouldn't think it's worth a 27, but I didn't think Rachel Steele was going to get a 27 either, so we'll see. So we'll see what our judges come up with. 27, 27 wow. for Dan Evans. Wow. All right, 27, a good number to throw up there. How'd you feel? Yeah, I felt pretty good. We got a new motor in the truck. We took 1,600 pounds of weight off from it. Cut the tires. We're getting used to it. It's the first run on it. We're looking forward to more in the future. You know, going out uh, as late as I did, you, you got to do something to, or make something happen. You know, we get everything that was out there. That's the main thing. Well, our scores, we are tied for first. Rage and Steel and Destroyer with 27. And Gunslinger, an outstanding run. Matter of fact, if he could use the full 90 seconds, he'd probably have gotten the lead. We've seen some outstanding runs. And I'm willing to bet that we have some outstanding runs on the way because the two best-known freestylers in the world today have yet to take their runs. But they're coming up, and we're talking about Grave Digger. We're talking about Tom Mintz, Monster Jam from Houston. Monster Jam in Houston. Hey, pre-order your very own PlayStation 2 or Game Boy Advance Monster Jam Maximum Destruction game today on USHRA.com or call 888-659-RACE. Drive the monster truck of your choice through the interactive game worlds. Crash your way to the winner's circle. Games will be available March 26th. Pre-order yours today and receive a free copy of Inside Monster Jam Volume 1. Here's our collision decision. And it is Gunslinger not being able to stop getting into that wall protection again. He is okay. And our jammer question, which NBA player owns the new power forward truck? Log on to USHRA.com with your answer. Boy, it was good to see Scott Hartzell climb down out of that Gunslinger machine. There's Dennis Anderson ready for his freestyle. Before he does that, we want to have our Digger Minute talking about the start of his monster truck career. The beginning of my monster truck racing career was, um, it was pretty cool. They, you know, a lot of the guys, we all done exhibition, two cars, run over and break the glass, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could take one of those old trucks and you could, I'd stand it up and I started dragging the hitch. Was my cup of tea that I had to do every time. I had this pinnel hook on the back of the truck. 
and I and I always and I tell the promoters when I book myself and try to get these shows, I said I guarantee I drag the hitch in the ground, you know, standing straight up like this, going over the cars, but and then actually it turned into a race, and I started out with TNT Motorsports. That was our first first time ever monster truck drag race elimination competition. A lot of people whined and sniveled about it. I yeehawed right on, buddy, bro. I floored that thing for all it was worth. And I could even beat some good trucks. There was trucks out there that were way better than mine. It's just that those guys didn't know. I didn't know either. I was just crazy. I'd, get, I'd stick my foot on it and fly down the track. We were big, giant dinosaurs. We weren't going to so fast. We thought we were fast. Now it's time for Grave Digger Freestyle. Let's see what he's got. 27 is the score to beat. Dennis Anderson making his 20th anniversary season. He hopes the greatest of his career. What a start he's gotten off to already. By the way, I got a chance to get a look at that truck up close. Really neat with all the pictures that the Grave Digger truck did with the past. You know, it's, it's the history of Grave Digger right there. And you know, that's what the new video is all about. The Grave Digger 20th anniversary video. I had the pleasure of helping out on that. And, you know, it's just a great video to watch. And you see all the, the folks who used to run against him, the Andy Brasses and the Jeff Danes. They're all there talking about the icon. USHRA.com. You can order your copy. That Grave Digger 20th anniversary video. This is Vintage Anderson so far. Tons of momentum flying all around the house. Never stop it. And it looks like you don't know where he's going to go next. He doesn't set anything up. He just goes and flies and turns and cranks. And here we go with a little donut action. Really using that rear steer effectively. And when we talk about momentum, Grave Digger and Team Mips does this as well. Nobody gets it going during freestyle like these two. That, that donut there was worth some points. You know, because of this dirt in Texas, no one's tried that. Look at the air. How about his leap over that bus? And the wheelie on the backside. And keep it going. He didn't have to stop. He keeps running after that. This is going to be a good score. The icon. He's the greatest freestyler of all time. Nets is trying to, trying to catch up. And right now, maybe the hottest shoe. But Dennis is... He'd like to get back on top of that mountain. I'll tell you, this is an awesome performance. Look at the hang -tons. Some great air by Dennis Anderson. And he's not rolling over early. He's used the full 90 seconds. This is awesome. Dennis at his best, and the fans are on their feet. Listen at this Reliant Astrodome crowd. Looky here, and this is how you do it. He really did the wheelie, walked it through the air, getting it up in the air, and, and it just looks like he never has a fear. Well, he doesn't have a fear. He will go anywhere. He'll try to make that truck do things. And look at that. That plus one's not going to count, but it's a perfect 30. <laughs> I like that. 10, 10, 10, plus one. Well, Tom Mintz has his work cut out for him now. Can only hope for a tie, but he's ready. And the freestyle here in the dome, is a lot of room. A hey, second to none here. You know, these people, they've been spoiled here for years, and they won't expect nothing but an awesome show, and that's what they're going to have to get. Well, we'll see that number one hanging out the window. Trademark Tom Mintz. Wow. Starting out with some good momentum. Had to slow around the wall protection. Let's see how he goes. Tom's on a mission like he says. Remember. So far, freestyle in Minneapolis, beaten in the racing finals in Houston last week. This guy wants to really lay down a run, and he knows he's got to be great because the best he can do is tie Anderson for the win here. Well, he's got some nice air to start off with. How about that? Up in the air. <laughs> See, nobody does those kind of things. That was unbelievable. Taking it straight up. That ramp is so steep, and he just launched it. Like Dennis Anderson, nicely up over the bus. He has to equal the things that Dennis Anderson did to have a chance to tie him with a third. Didn't walk the wheelie as far, but I think he actually was higher over the bus. He had so much momentum. Slides are in, good shape. Cost him a little momentum, but he's able to keep the truck rolling. He didn't get too close to the wall protection. And a second time over the bus. This is awesome. Will the judges give him three tenths and see how he finishes up? I think Mitz has a chance of a 30. I really do. I think yeah. he's got to finish has it, though. He needs, like Dennis, to use the full 90. That's a little different going over that inside the, the concrete that separates the sand drive lanes. Might 
be enough. I'll tell you, it was awesome. Look at him. He's pumped. Crowd loves it in the Reliant Astrodome. 44,000 here. And they like what Tom Mintz has put on the floor. Well, these guys are incredible. And he did. He matched Anderson, I think, move for move. We'll see if the judges... I can't see him getting less than like a 28 or a 29, but I think he may have tied him because, again, it was a match for match. The two gunfighters. Yep, there yep. you go. And they shot it out. Three tens for Tom Mintz. He has tied Gravedigger here in the freestyle competition. So they'll tie for the win here. Rage and Steel and Destroyer have to be thrilled with their runs, as would Scott Hartsock be in the Gunslinger. Top five finish. Outstanding run for Hartsock here tonight. But, boy, Digger and Mintz were both awesome, weren't they? Yeah, here are the rest of the trucks in their order of finish fire mount power forward high roller predator and prowler now dan is caught up with both dennis and tom so we'll head it down to dan moriart guys early in the season two perfect 30s i would say to the rest of the crew out there and to each other you have both put down the gauntlet i tell you what it's gonna be tough all year it's gonna be the best for the fans out there it won't be a runaway this year it's gonna be a battle all the way thick and thin Hey, well, I tell you what, it's been a tough night and this track's been really fast, long course, rough on the motors, get a lot of heat in it. We tried hard all night, knew it was going to come down to me and Tom after we got our paces set on the track. He always runs smooth, he runs good. I've got my truck running super good right now, I'm kind of chained to my truck, I'm going to be chained to it the rest of the season. He's got his work cut out and I've got my work cut out. All I can say is, may the best man win at the end of the season. Wow. Are we in for a year or what? Storylines, double your fun, Dennis and Tom sharing the trophy. Or maybe fighting over the trophy. Just don't break it, guys. Don't break it. We'll get another one. Hey, what a solid start for Scott Stevens, the tetracyclin firemouth. Look at awesome. And what a wheelie this was. Scott gave us one of those wow moments tonight. I want to tell you the freestyle in the Reliant Astrodome here in Houston, Texas was phenomenal tonight. For Scott Douglas, I'm Mike Hogwood. We'll send it back to Dan now. Well, even though you experienced it, from inside this bus, I'll tell you, that was a pretty exciting night of freestyle, even with some questionable judging. Now, you saw the emergence of a couple new trucks there, Raging Steel and Destroyer, really putting the pedal to the metal and putting up some darn good scores. Also, well, you had the tough luck of both Firemouth and Gunslinger who just really, really showed and wowed the crowd, but that's where the questionable scoring came in. But in the end, did it really matter? The same two guys that always deliver, delivered again. This time, perfect 30s, both of them, they shared the podium, Tom Mentz and Dennis Anderson. And I guarantee you, right through the season, to the World Finals in Las Vegas, we're gonna experience the exact same things. Those two pushing each other's buttons and the rest of the guys pushing behind to try and get on the podium themselves. But in the big picture, is that really a bad thing to get used to? These great drivers, the best in the world, giving it week in, week out? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think so either. I'll see you next week from Atlanta. In the meantime, here's the jam. So long. Let me call mama and tell her I'm getting ready to be on TV. <laughs>